Hmm. Oh my, it says I'm live. Okay, it says I'm live. I see two people. Hello, two people. Hi. Okay, if you, if I see, oh, three people. Outstanding. Oh, I need to amplify my voice. Okay, Ooh, so welcome to a spontaneous uh, lesson. Wednesday, Wednesday the 26th, Wednesday the 26th, and I'm not sure, I'm not sure if you can see this. So what, what I have going on is I'm using my document camera here and the document camera, hmm, it's going to be a little confusing maybe. So the document camera is... Now I'm missing, let's do this. So the document camera has the, the activity that I'll, that I'll be teaching. And I, my goal is to open this as big as possible so that you can see that. And to, cause I don't need to see, I don't need to see this. So I'm gonna make this screen smaller. <laughs> Maybe put that there. Boy, this is, Quite an experience. What this? Mm, so so. Well, in any case, it's good to uh, it's good to see at least the two of you. My um, what I had in mind for today, since I gave you since I gave you this uh, purple sheet and the purple sheet you're looking at the purple sheet I have in my hand. Uh, the purple sheet represents the, these are the counties of California, and these counties are in alphabetical order. So let me make, let me if I make this larger. All right, so these, these counties, uh, these counties are in alphabetical order. And the other thing you'll notice is there is a box. And those little boxes on the side, my plan is for you to either, is to either use this, uh, and this is a version, this is sort of a version you did. I, ah, this is what I started with the class the other day. Started that, and on the back of it is this worksheet. So here's what you could do if you, if you wanted to. What you could do is take the first county, alphabetically that's A for, Al A is Alpine, and then find this worksheet, put that worksheet next to it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try something, I'm gonna try something different. So I'm gonna stand, I'm gonna try to remember where I can stand. So I can stand anywhere from here, so that's the rug, to, all right, so the, the end of the table. Okay, so I'm gonna minimize this window because I don't need I don't need to look at myself. So hopefully, hopefully this image, hopefully this is visible to you at home. Uh, if it's not, sorry. So the, what, um, what I'd like for the students to do is number one, uh, with your markers, take a, a marker and match up Alameda. Alameda is first. I think I said Alpine earlier. Alameda alphabetically is first. And Alameda is here. So now what I've done is I've matched Alameda. I'm pretty sure I can do a darker color than yellow. That would, that would be helpful, I'm, I'm realizing. So let's try orange. Orange for Alameda. So that's Alameda, and so is this. And if you did the uh, region activity where you used the other map, Hopefully, what, what that means is you now realize <clears throat> that Alameda is in the uh, Bay Area. So Alameda there. Um, okay, so the next, so go through. Um, uh, when I looked at your maps, when I looked at the maps that people turned in, what I noticed, what I noticed was that uh, people were doing a really good job putting different colors next to each other. And that, that's great. Um, 
So what else? Oh, so go through, color as many as you can. And if, I don't know, if you color all the A, let's say you color from A to G, from uh, Al Alameda to Glen. If you color those, then what I'd like you to do is to go through and find on a, on a device, type in, see if this will work. Uh, oh, that doesn't look good at all. So type in population of uh, uh, county. So my device I typed in, uh, I got it from the census. And on the census, uh, what I found was the population of counties in California. And it, here we go. Nope. Mm, no. Los Angeles County. So I just clicked on Los Angeles County. So the population estimate, and it zooms in. It zooms in and population. So what I'll do is they'll give you a big number, especially for Los Angeles County. And I want you to write that number in that box. The full, you know, it's gonna be a really mul really large multi-digit number. And write that in the first box and write all the, the population of all the counties. Well, all the counties from A to G. Uh, this is not, the, the purpose of this, the purpose of this is not to overload you I do not want kids to um, spend more. If you did, if you did this for 15 minutes, that's great, and then just take a break. Uh, some kids really like the act of completing things and you know matching these to the counties. And please go if if it's uh, if it's fun for you, absolutely go for it. If it's really hard and really confusing, you can by all means uh, try it for 15 minutes and then hit pause. Uh, looks like I have a message from my control center. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, excellent. So it looks like at least uh, up to four people now. That's pretty good. The, let's see, the only thing, the only thing I'm curious about is I'm uh, hoping that these, that the images I put and this I, this I'll be able to figure out once I, um, once I watch this video, because uh, what I've noticed is with, YouTube live streaming, uh, this is going out live, but it also is recorded, and I think it can be reviewed, so I'll review it. Uh, so if, the other, the other option is if students want to use this. Like let's say instead of, instead of having a, instead of doing it the way I just described it, you could also do it this way. Let's say that you know the Northeast is everything that's purple. Well, what you can do is you can find the counties that are purple and you can use this, right? Cause this is the map that has the counties on it. And then what you can do is you can start to fill out. So here I know that the counties in the North, the Northeast, these are the counties in the Northeast. So the Northeast has one, two, three, four, five, six, Northeast, six counties. I'm not sure if you can make out my pencil on the on the screen there. So north this this uh, region one two three four yep five six. So the northeast has six counties. So then what you can do is you can color on this just the northeast. So you can find uh, Modoc, Siskiyou, Shasta, and Lassen, and then find out how many people live in those counties. And how do you do that? You know what? Have fun with this. Hey Siri. How many people live in Modoc County, California? 2019. The population of Modoc County was 8,841. Yay! So if you have an uh, enabled device, here's another way to do it. It's just a tool. So Modoc, Modoc County, which is in the north, what did we say it was? Northeast. So Modoc is here, and oh, it went away. Darn. All right, so Modoc. Here, uh, do, do, do. let's see, Modoc, let's zoom in, let's zoom in real big, and then autofocus. Oh, there's one other trick, where's it? All right, so hopefully you can see this is Modoc. If you can't see it, oh boy, I just thought of something. Let's see, let's see if, uh, let's see if this works. Ah, all right. It worked 
last year. All right, so if you can't see it, this says MODOK. So M O D O C. And then according to Siri, uh, hey Siri, how many people live in Modoc County? In 2019, the population of Modoc County was 8,841. 8,841. So this is, that's what we call an exact number. And the reason I like this activity is <clears throat> we're gonna deal with big numbers in math. So we can combine California history, which is the regions of California, uh, counties and regions, and we can look at numbers. So if you have 8,800, what we do is we, we look at this number, that's 8,800. So if you say, tell me about MODOK, and you said it has 8,841 people, that's fine if you're Siri, but for us humans, you typically want to round it to the next number. So you look to the next number, eight is bigger than five. So eight means that this rounds that number up to the next place. So the next number eight from 8,000 is 9,000 and everything else zeroes out. So the way I envisioned this was, or is, you would do, you would write like, let's say this is a, let's see if I can cover that. Let's see. So let's say, I'll just write it up here. So let's say we have uh, 8,841, and that would be the number you put in the population. And then next to it, you would do, you would put this number, 9,000. You would put that, so I'm gonna put this 9,000. I'm gonna put that in this spot. I don't know if, over here, so 9,000. And hopefully when you do this at home, you don't have a big marker like that. Uh, all right. So let's see. That is, that's that. Uh, the county activity. Mm -hmm. I'm freezing. Ah, there we go. All right. So I was really impressed with the, I was really impressed with the work that people did. Uh, good job coloring this and turning it in. Um, that was the big stuff, 12 minutes. Uh, maybe I can learn from, learn from them, learn from yeah, mistakes if I'm making them now. Sometimes you don't know you're making mistakes until you uh, are told or you see it yourself. Uh, cool, all right, well, hope you have a really good rest of your day. If you have any questions, you can email me or put it in the class of Corcoran, um, classroom Corcoran. The Google Classroom page, Google Classroom page, right. and so that's all. I don't know that. I think that's the that's a wrap for live stream. So we got up to four people. Not too bad for a spontaneous lesson. Cool. I will um, be talking with you all tomorrow uh, with a regular Zoom. Zoom will be tomorrow, and then if I can figure this out by. Friday, maybe we can start doing this on uh, on Monday. Okay, have a good rest of your Wednesday, everybody. Bye bye.